Soaked by four days of rain, the Mount Igman road was even more treacherous than usual. The French armoured personnel carrier slipped over the edge and plunged several hundred yards into a ravine, where it detonated two landmines and caught fire. With Sarajevo airport closed by the fighting, the road was the only way for the American diplomats to reach the Bosnian capital. The three who were killed had been closely involved in the latest American initiative to bring peace to Bosnia. The bad weather in the area had earlier postponed their visit to Sarajevo. Two days ago, Richard Holbrook's delegation met in Belgrade with Serbian President Milosevic. Robert Frazier had been America's chief negotiator on Bosnia for several months. He was a former ambassador to Estonia. The coffins of the three diplomats were to be flown by helicopter to split in Croatia. Although the US shuttle mission will continue after the funerals, the loss of so much expertise will set back the attempt to resolve the territorial disputes that have blocked a peace agreement. Bosnian government officials told the surviving Americans that it was ironic that men who had come to their country on a mission of peace should lose their lives in such a tragic way.